right in this video I am going to go through uh, what not to do with your Volkswagen and of course these things are my opinion and you can choose to do them or not do them and do them at your own risk or not at your own risk decide which ones you think are right or wrong and of course if you see one you like or are interested in or think I or disagree with make a comment I'd like to hear about it okay let me go around and I'm just going to do a few things and then tell you what not to do. Do not have any holes in the back of your engine open. Do not buy any points and condensers from a regular parts store. Make sure they're Bosch. Points and condenser needs to be Bosch on the Volkswagen. Do not put on resistor wires. Resistor wires will cause problems with the VW. You'll be having fouled plugs um, unless you have like an MSD or something like that. Do not put any spark plugs in it that are not Bosch or NDK, NGK. Like if you use Champions or Auto Lights, you will have problems with your Volkswagen. Do not have this hose connected without hose clamps that goes up to your carburetor. Do not bog your engine. Make sure that it's revving in the proper uh, RPMs. Should be between 28 and maybe 3,800 RPMs, typically. Do not over rev your Volkswagen. Do not drive 80 miles an hour in your Volkswagen unless you've done something really special to your transmission or your gearing. If you have small tail lights, do not allow a person to drive too close to you. Make sure you have plenty of distance between you and the person in front of you if you don't want to get rear-ended. If you have a fuel pump like this one, do not throw it away. Hang on to it because it can be rebuilt. If you have a bus and you have stock big nut transmission, which is the 46 millimeter nut on the, on the hubcap, and you have this size tire, 205, 75, 14. Do not drive faster than 65. You will burn up your engine. If it's smaller tires than that, you need to make sure that you adjust accordingly. So if you have like a, a an inch smaller tire than that, you probably your max speed is about 60 before your engine starts to have problems. This is the back of the engine right here. Do not have this hose going through this thing here without being protected. It needs to have a rubber hose wrapped around it so that the rubber hose, when this vibrates going down the road, uh, it doesn't wear a hole through it and, and actually uh, cause a fuel leak going right over the exhaust. That's how you burn down your car. Do not allow your fuel hose when it goes through here to touch your exhaust anywhere. I would hope that nobody would do this, but do not drive your car on salty roads in the winter. Do not put the wrong size battery in your car that is above this thing here. It should have a protection thing here. Make sure that it's the proper size for your car. If it's up too high, It'll hit the seat springs. You'll have a fire. So on the bus, if you have a top, if you have a uh, small nut transmission, and uh, you have 165 15 tires on that, um, I do not have a top speed for you because I've always changed those gears because they suck. It's just like maybe 50 max speed. If you have a lowered car, do not drive it straight up steep driveways. Go at an angle like this and go up the road. Do not drive with old cracked up tires like these. If the sidewalls are so cracked, they're probably going to blow out on you. If you have an oil cooler like one of these, I know this one's pretty beat up, but... Uh, do not put it over the intake on your fan. 
thinking your engine's going to run cooler. It will run much hotter than normal. On your wires, they should all have, again, solid. They should have solid wire inside of those wires. That's what I meant by not resistor ones. If you have a sand seal engine, do not run an aluminum pulley. They crack. This engine has a sand seal, and this is a metal pulley, and that's what you want to machine down. Again, if you have one of these, it should be mounted up over your transmission, or if you have a bus, you can put it on the side with a fan on it. Do not put it over the fan hole, the intake fan hole. It will run hotter. Do not drive your car with these open without freeze plugs in it and no hose there. Do not put your pulley on without seven to nine of these shim washers. If you've only got two or three because you think you only need two or three, that pulley's gonna crack. If you're restoring your old car and you think that you're gonna get your original glass back in without cracking it, do not think that. More than likely you're gonna crack it. Not a good idea to run aftermarket wiper arms either. The new cheap ones crack. Well, it's been a while since I've not done some of those things. Uh, I mean, since I've done any of those mistakes. So it is hard for me to remember all of the ones that I see all the time. That I go, oh my God, don't do that, please. Um, but uh, I'm sure you guys will put a few down in the comments. And I encourage anyone that is watching the video... Um, to either comment the things that they know that I didn't put on there or the other thing is I mean like some guys will say do not put the fuel filter in the fuel in the engine compartment I've been doing that for years and I've never had a problem I know everybody I know does it and we don't have problems um, but uh, if you want to comment that that's okay um, uh, make sure you know you go ahead and put those comments make sure if you're new to Volkswagen's that you read all those comments and find some things and things not to do on your car. Um, because it, those, those are the most common mistakes I see. Well, why guys are on the side of the road with a burned up engine or an engine fire or um, something like that. Um, I was going to say one more thing real quick. I couldn't think of a way to make this in a not question. So it's a do not drive your car until you grab this fuel bar right here on the intake of your carburetor if you have a stock Solex carburetor and yank it around and pull it a bunch of times and make sure that it's in there tight because these things actually slip out the little brass connector that's inside slip out of the carburetor most common engine fire ever on Volkswagens a lot of people think it was the fuel filter but it was actually that barb that came out of the carb usually that's 99 percent of the time so anyway be sure to read those comments, and if I missed anything or if I, there's stuff you like on there, make sure you go ahead and put those things down so that uh, other people can find this video, and it'll save some cars, keep some cars on the road, and we'll save a few more cars from destruction. Talk to you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.